Good morning, all my beautiful people. I have my coffee in hand. I just thought I'd show you how pretty it is out here this morning. I'm gonna go thrifting today, but I'm gonna have my coffee and then go have a shower. Look at how pretty Princess she is. Oh, she's happy. Nasturtiums are getting a little tired, but it's all good. Everything's still beautiful. My favorite little bird nest up here. I feel like a little bird sitting in here. Isn't it beautiful? Everything's just still blooming away. Behind me, I'm full too. Uh, hold on, I'm gonna get up and show you. Look at it. Just beautiful, the sun's just coming up. Couldn't be better. All these prettiness. Um, I was gonna say nasturtiums. All these pretty morning glories, the pink ones and the purple ones. Just fabulous. Okay, I'm gonna enjoy my coffee. And then I'm going to have a shower and we'll go thrifting. Come along, everybody. Loves it. Pretty princess. A little bit sexy times, too. Did have to show that off one more time. Yeah, she's looking good. I'm just down here uh, watering my plants. This came in really nice, didn't it? Looks great there. My beautiful swan. Everything looks good still. Some leaves falling and stuff, but look at how she grew. Isn't that pretty? So romantic. I think I only turned that little chandelier on once. <laughs> I don't sit down here, I sit upstairs, right? And the ferns are beautiful. I'm just waiting on the water and sewer guy. He needs into the laundry room to, to do something. Maybe we're getting to an end here. I don't know, but the ferns look great. Really good. Not getting any more roses. This came in really good this year as well. I know we still got a few, like three weeks, two, three weeks, but you can see things are turning. You really can. Oh, I got a little rose over there. One. This is the first year, so things should be better next year. Hopefully, I should take that piece off the pasta. That flower is done. Yeah, that one's gonna go anyway, so I'll well take it too. There we go. But they came in pretty good. That one came in good. He's got a plastic bag over this for some reason. Don't know what the reason is on this, but he's coming, so we'll find out. Anyways, I just thought I'd show you a little bit. Everything else is looking good. Oh, let's look up here. I still have this project I gotta do. Sitting out here, just hanging. She took to transplanting really well. And this is so, so. I didn't put it right into the pot. I'm gonna transplant it into the house later, but it did okay. And this one didn't do as good as it usually does. Didn't like its pot, I guess. I really don't know. But it's, it's live, just not fabulous. But she's got enough babies I could share with the world. She, she took to that really well. Yeah. Okay. I'm just going to sit here and wait. But I like that. That looks good. Everything's pretty princess. I'm out here deadheading. Things are still really good though. Just got some leaves over there to clean up. Taking off the hose so we're back to our main line. He's just doing all that now. So I think we're good to go. Coming to a close. This will finally be gone. The whole summer. There's a tractor parked behind me and I don't know where he is. Well, I had full intentions of going thrifting, but there's like a, a trillion. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. There's every other street around me is closed because of this water and sewer. So I'm just going to chill today instead of going through the struggles and I'll go another day. So maybe we'll make a nice dinner or something. Yeah, sexy times. 
not. And a really small pot of lemon pea potatoes. So that's really just two potatoes in there. I'm making it for two nights. And I just cleaned my chicken with some lemon and I cross hatched it. And now I'm gonna season it. I put fresh thyme on it. And I'm gonna sprinkle some pepper, a little bit of salt. I'm gonna do some honey and some curry. And I have honey, curry, and I did add a little bit of barbecue sauce. I'm just gonna mix that all together and then I'm gonna put it on a piece of parchment paper and put it in the oven. I'm gonna do a drizzle of olive oil, not much, but a half a teaspoon. And I did a, about a half a teaspoon of W sauce, Worcestershire sauce. Do a little splash of some chili peppers and it's going in an oven at 400. I don't know how long it takes, couldn't tell you. But that's it, that's all. Just forgot my most important ingredient to me is my Montreal steak spice. Um, you could add some garlic powder too if you wanted to. I'm not going to, but you could. I have the Montreal steak spice here and it kind of has a little bit of everything in it. So I'm good with that. There you go, oven ready. Parboiling these. Once they're soft, I will drain them and let them cool a bit. And then I'll add one whole lemon and some lemon rind and a little bit of butter and a little bit of olive oil. And I'll toss them. And when it's almost done, then I'll add in my peas. Okay, my potatoes are soft. Um, I'm going to let them cool for a little bit. I did put a knob of butter in there. And I have uh, lemon dill seasoning. I'll do about a half a teaspoon on here. You don't have to do this part. I just like it. A little bit of pepper. I make it different every time. And I'll do a sprinkle of salt as well. Now I'm just going to let them cool for a while. And then I'm going to take the juice of a whole lemon and put it on top. I did squeeze the juice of a whole lemon. It has a lot of seeds. Look at that. Look at all the seeds. But I'll just sprinkle that over top. And if it does get dry, I'll add about a tablespoon of olive oil. But right now, I don't think I need it. And just let that cool down a little bit before you turn it back on. Let it soak in. You can stir it up and then turn it back on. I turned the potatoes on. The chicken's about, about halfway done. And I'm just going to let this crisp up. And then I'll flip it once. And then I'm going to add a cup of peas. And then I'll be done. Okay, I flipped them. They're still moist. I don't need to add any olive oil. Best if you don't. If you have to, you have to. But my potatoes are the yellow potatoes. Yukon, they're the best for this kind of stuff. And I'm adding about, maybe about a cup of peas. And I'm just going to put that on top. And that'll add some moisture there too, because these are frozen. I wish they were fresh, but they're not. It's what I had in the house. I planned on going friction today and everything, but this water sewer guy was behind schedule, so I just did stuff around the house. Just gonna cook that down a little bit more, and my chicken should be ready. I'll plate it up. I'm going to add a little bit of cilantro. Not much. I like cilantro, so. That's a preference, for sure. You don't have to. My chicken's down. Okay, I put a little bit of goat yogurt on there and a little bit of tamarind sauce, just for a little kick, because I like a little kick and everything. And I made these potatoes before, but I do them different every time. So good. I'll show you the chicken. And the chicken's still really juicy. Do have a knife here? I'm just trying to do this with one hand. I'll let you know how this is too. Perfection. Loves everybody. Um, I'll get thrifted. Don't worry. You could add it like green onions to this if you don't like cilantro. You could do a lot of things. Or you don't have to do any of that. I just like doing something different all the time. I use what I have in the house. I will talk to you all later. And I hope you all have a beautiful day. And please like and subscribe if you haven't already done so. Talk to you real soon.
loves it. Pretty princess.